It's me, Pussy, and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be covering the truth about the disappearance of fashion photo review from YouTube and biting into the India Affair versus Shay, Alexis Mateo, and Derek Barry Twitter feud that erupted this past weekend. Y'all are gonna love this one. It's juicy. But first, a quick message from YouGov, the easiest way to earn extra cash and gift cards this summer in today's video sponsor. To get started, just click the link in the description of my video and get signed up for YouGov in just a couple of clicks. Then start getting paid to share your opinion on short surveys like this one, which is asking me questions about political division in America, or these more lighthearted ones asking me about my favorite reality TV star and musicians. Oh, hey, Nicki Minaj. Earn points for sharing your valuable opinion, and when you're ready, redeem those points for rewards like cash and gift cards to your favorite places like Amazon. Just think of the possibilities. A few minutes spent right before you lay your head down to sleep or while you're binging Netflix could help pay for that iced coffee addiction this summer or think big and save up for a new gaming console. That is, if you can find one in stock. So what are you waiting for? Just click the link in the description of my video to start sharing your opinion and earning extra cash today. Thanks, Yuka, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and spill some tea with the caution it reminder. It's never okay to harass people online, leaving ugly comments or or going into somebody's inbox. It's not cute. Don't do it. And with that said, let's start with fashion photo review. So we began covering the FPR drama now a couple of weeks ago, which was kicked off with Violet going viral for booting Raj's first two looks. And then for the third episode of fashion photo review, the WoW Presents Plus YouTube channel uploaded only like a minute and 46 seconds of content saying that you could see the rest on their paid subscription service website. And just like that, fashion photo review gone. May she rest in peace. It seems the main theories from the fan base regarding what happened here were that WoW Presents was trying to cash in on some hot tea and drama and said, you know what, if you want to see Violet's opinionated opinions, you can pay for them. But the real tea, allegedly, as spilled by the hosts of Roscoe's at their recent viewing party, apparently, Violet had a conversation with the producers of the show and asked them to pull the series or else she would quit. Okay, so, so we had Violet here. And she said it. She was like, no. She called and she's like, pull them. That's it. Pull them. Take them down while she because was here. I'm pissed, and they kind of were like, Don't worry, you're doing great, yes. sweetie. They kind it of like they put a little like bad. icing no. on it, and she was like, Nope, we're not having these. Yeah. To be seen. Citing toxic online cancel culture as the reason for her request. She literally was here and she was like, I'm to the point where I will quit drag. What the people were saying, the cancel culture, they are just so mean. Drag Race fans are so goddamn mean for no reason. And I'll admit, hearing this gagged me for sure because Violet sort of has made a brand on being unbothered. And I thought the whole thing initially was a great PR play by Violet to get the show and herself some attention and views, etc. Because as a reminder, the only thing we actually heard from Violet about the whole situation was she booted your faves and will be doing it again. I guess it's just a shame no one will ever see her do it because it's locked behind a paywall. Now let's move on to India versus the world. India, Farah that is. Our feud here begins on June 18th when the latest Pit Stop episode for All-Star 7 Episode 6 dropped, featuring Derek Barry as the co-host. Bob started them off with a bit of banter. You are a liar and that's why Derek don't like you. Yeah, true. That's so good. Still true to uh, this day. Uh, and Derek also seems to confirm here her relationship with Miss India Farah is still not great. I love working with her. She's uh, in the India? mega show. No, oh. Alexis. <laughs> No. <laughs> and as a quick refresher, the Alexis Mateo quote comes from the lipstick elimination voting when she was mad at India Farah for telling Shay and the rest of the group that there had been a campaign to get Shay eliminated several episodes prior. Alexis vehemently denied it this episode. We finally heard more about it in the semi reunion they did at the end of this season. And Mayhem Miller explains, I voted for Shay, but Alexis didn't ask me to do that. And Alexis says, there you have it. And India finally says, well, it's just what I heard on the side of the stage. May him and Alexis both asked if I voted Shay off. So like, cut and dry from every person in the story, there was no campaign. But enough brushing up on backstory. Our story continues with a tweet from India Farah in the wee hours of the morning on June 19th, writing, Guess that Drag Race Live gig ain't keeping you that busy since my name is still in that crusty mouth. I think she's my number one fan, TBH. Hashtag minding my own damn business. And the next morning, that same day, she wrote, it's the hashtag Twitter trolls acting like they still know everything about me and my life. Sweeties, I own and run a full-time business making my own money. Clappy emoji. And I get to travel to do shows on my own terms when I want to. 
Clueless and ignorance doesn't mix well, bless him. So very thankful I work for myself and that I'm not a quote, slave for someone paying pennies while other cast members make 10 times the amount of pay you are. Go enjoy the rest of the shows you got this year, you're gonna need each and every one of them. Hashtag best decision I made. And by the way, I wanna say thanks to my patrons who helped me find some of these deleted tweets. Andrew actually pointed out to me that they were available on the Wayback Machine in my Discord, which by the way, is a Bussy Queen Patreon member exclusive. And you join my Patreon by clicking the link in the description of this video. See you there. But back to the drama. And Shay replied to that second tweet in that thread writing, the choice to say you're not a quote slave on Juneteenth is truly camp. You've outdone yourself, sis. And Yafara then tweeted, oh, here we go. I forgot I can't tweet anything without it being racist or taken offensively. Thank you for reminding me why I don't play the games y'all choose to play. Not all of us are quote perfect. She also addressed the Twitter user that wrote her weird how you can't just say my bad. It sounds a little up to say I'm not a slave on the day slavery was abolished in the South, writing, yes, weird because it was a Britney reference. How weird, right? Then Shay quote tweeted India's next tweet, writing, you want to talk the talk, but you deleted it very quickly, didn't you? To which India replied, yes, because just like on AS5, you turned something into something it was not. Very you, sis. Hashtag, I never said alliance. And Shay responded, you literally lied and got caught up in your shenanigans. So blame me for your downfall. Good luck with all your bookings. I hear Shark Week is gonna be... <laughs> really amazing this year. That'll uh, make more sense shortly. We also see Alexis jump in here with an interaction of her and Shay in the workroom back on All Stars 5. And he replied to Shay here writing, yes, tune in. You're gonna love it. Y'all heart me. Let's see how many blocks I can make happen today. I'm up to 25 already. Y'all take Twitter to a whole new level. She then seemingly changed her tune about 30 minutes later writing, dear Twitter and Twitter trolls, please accept my sincerest apologies for tweeting a Britney Spears song reference on Juneteenth. I truly did not mean any harm or negativity by it. Sending love and peace to you all. And about an hour later, Alexis Mateo tweeted out, is she looking for attention? And finally, we see Derek Barry jump again. All this because I said the word no. In the mega show. No. <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> No. <laughs> hashtag Drag Race Live. Hashtag Drag Brunch Vegas. Hashtag Fully Booked. Hashtag World Traveler. Hashtag Them Shoulders Don't Match Them Hips. <laughs> And then we get one of the most savage reads from Derek Barry to ever grace the Twitter sphere. She wrote, she thinks I can't keep her name out of my mouth, yet she can't keep the plaque out of hers. Tooth emoji. Meatball <laughs> responded with this photo. <laughs> No words. I just, I can't. And that is where we see Miss India Farah depart from the feud. She tweeted out this note. I've been extremely blessed with this new life I built on my own. I ask no one for anything other than to let me live my life. Being in the spotlight as a TV character has had its ups and downs. I've made mistakes like every human being and I've made choices to speak up for myself when I felt I was wronged. Every time I do though, my narrative gets twisted to fit someone else's story better. I'm tired of defending myself. I'm tired of the internet trolls. I'm tired of people not knowing who I really am because of what others have to say about me when they are not even happy with themselves. I don't need the internet to live a good life. I made a mistake of responding to yet again another post caused by the same person trying to harm me over things that occurred years ago. If they are so happy with their lives, why bring me up again? Therefore, since I can never get my point across without being put in a corner, I will remove myself. I will be deleting my Twitter as nothing good or positive has ever came from it. I wish everyone the best. And then the next day we see a message from India Farah's husband who on an Instagram story wrote, Derek Barry, Alexis Mateo, Shay. Y'all have have some really sad lives. You say you are against people who bully and y'all are setting the perfect example of being one. Y'all don't stand for anything but hate. DB can't stand being a one trick pony and is a huge fan and clearly can't take a bite back. Not a bite back. Sorry, I haven't read this yet. M still thinks she should have won and that she's slaying, so she has to have groupies with her because her career, like DB, relies on India, and Shay just can never win, so she needs to play the race card to distract them from the truth, which they are all still holding on to? Good for you, girls. Girl. Show this new generation how you shall bully someone. Very well done. Hashtag RPDR. I hope you are very proud of your girls during this Pride Month. Your cast couldn't wait for this moment and it's clear as daylight. Best part is, no bitch can read her for her talent. Exactly what y'all are missing. If they say these things about her, imagine what they say about you when they turn their heads. I rest my case. Switch the narrative on her so y'all look like the queens you always wanted to be. Envidiosas. Hashtag talentless monsters. 
Oof. And it may also be worth noting some other queens jumped in on the drama. Roxy tweeted, what is this India everyone's talking about? Is it a dentist? And Jiggly replied, nope, apparently it sells popcorn at music festivals and calls it her booked and busy gigs. And that is everything that happened with the feud. Objectively speaking, it was pretty clear that on the pit stop, Derek and Bob were sharing a joke about an iconic drag race moment. And Derek was polite, she didn't really say anything. India was the one who jumped on Twitter with the insults. Sometimes, like India said, removing yourself is the best and only option. Wow, wait, imagine the conspiracy theory behind this though, that this is actually just another ruse by World of Wonder and Drag Race to promote the Drag Race Live in Vegas show. Oh, we're all being tricked. Life is a lie, the world is an illusion, and I don't know what's real anymore. But as always, I wanna say thank you so much for watching today's video. And I wanna give a special thanks to today's video sponsor, YouGov, who you can check out using the link in the description of this video to start earning some extra cash right now. And I wanna give a special shout out to Aiden the Individual, Alessandro420, Alicia, Angel, Cyrus, Dark Sided Otter, David Webb, Tiki, Felicia, Frankie, Hector, JB, Jeffrey, Joseph, Josh Marchand, Kyle Hermes, Laura Lissette, Louis Labrador, Ruff, Mark James, Matthew Burns, Matthew Bauer, Maxila Wow, Michelle, Your Bell, Miss F. Neely, Sailor, Steven, Topher, Freely, and Will and Tan, who are all supporting me at my Busty Queen Collector tier. See y'all later. Love ya. Bye.